Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online, the Slow Tro 2 edition. This is Nomadan here. Say hello to everyone, Nomadan. Ha <laughs> Good boy. When we left off, we were here in the city of Coombe and had just about finish up the whole Coombe, Archit, Chetwood area, we do believe. I think we finished just about all the quests over here. We do have a deed that popped up right toward the end, so let's take a look at that. We didn't cover it last time. Ah, that's the Celebrating Sunshine. That's the the summer the summer festival quest that we have to do on this and go the go fishing quest and the gather the fireworks and all that. We will definitely hit be hitting that. Uh, we have been at work for quite a few days here, so it's good to be able to get back in Middle Earth and enjoy Enjoy something a little bit more serious than our workaday job. Now, what we're going to do is I'm hoping we're getting close to finishing up the prologue and actually entering into the, the true book one of the whole epic cycle here. Book one, volume one. I don't think this is going to finish the prologue up entirely, but it should be getting close to it. And while we are doing that, let's take a look at the bestowal and see what we have here. You've done all that was asked of you and done a good job of it too, so I suppose it's time to show you where to find Skunkwood. He's second under Eogan, one of the strange men that I mentioned. Skunkwood handled, handed the Blackwolds over to them a short time ago. That's when the bad changes started taking place around here. Skunkwood used me and a lot of other good folk here in Coombe. Everything you've seen so far in the Chetwood should prove that to you. We risk a lot to have a chance to stop the Blackwolds once and for all, Nomadan. It's time that we finish this. The hideout is located at the foot of the Staddle Falls at the northwest end of Staddle Pond. You'll be welcomed inside. Perhaps you best go talk to that fella what you're working for first, though. So we did that. Ellie told us that we should be welcome to come in now. We went and told Toradan. Toradan said to go into the place and see, go into the Blackwold hideout and see if we could find, see if we could find uh, Amdir inside, I believe it was. Go into the Blackwold hideout, see if we can find and release, find where they're holding Amdir and release him, I believe too. Yep, find the location of Amdir, free him, and help him to escape. So that is exactly what we're going to do now. We'll head up this way until we can find the Stadlemere. There you go. Told you it was just past where the hanging tree and all used to be. The stump field. And we are looking for a cave. I'm wanting to say it's at the foot of this waterfall, perhaps. Is that where I'm going to find it? There's the Staddle Falls. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Let's see if we can work our way down to it. We're having another update this morning. It's like every time I want to get on and and get a chance to do some gaming. There's always an update, so glad we're getting in here to get this done. Important update, though, with the whole 64-bit engine that they put in. Apparently, there's some crashing issues and stuff like that with it. And they want to fix that. And they said that also that the... the Summerfest horse right now is, as they say, goat-like properties and can be ridden inside Moria, and they definitely want to put a stop to that. Okay, here's the door to the Blackwold Cave here at the Staddle Falls. Let's go on in and see what is going to happen here. Now, they're expecting us to be a... expecting that we're going to be a candidate and a prospect to join the, the Blackwolds. The hunt for Amdir leads to the hideout of the brigand Skunkwood, but to what end is unknown. Yeah, here's the brigand cave. All right. 
Pleco Guard Instance, the Hideout, and Brigand Slayer Advance, which we've still got to do another 28 Brigand Slayers. I think we would definitely get an opportunity to work on that while we're in here. Are these skull piles? Jeez, what the hell are they doing with a bunch of skull piles? Where did they come from? Archit or something? Good grief. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to the Blackwell Guard. What can I do for you? The Blackwell Guard stares up at you from beneath a furrowed brow. He spits on the ground and studies your face for a few seconds before giving you a wry and sinister smile. So talk to William Skunkwood. You must be the new blood Ellie was talking about. You'll find Skunkwood in the back. Alright. We'll do that. I got to say, it's it's a good thing that the Blackwell Guards are equal opportunity employers and all. They're like so many of the other parts where they they hire women just the way they hire men. But they do seem to have a little bit... You do run into the whole fantasy uh, trope and Star Trek mentality. That the men run around in uniforms and the women run around in miniskirts. And with their midriff exposed. Oh well. Not quite a chainmail bikini, but... Oh, well. Let's head on down into the caves here. Blackwold Marksman. Why are we even here? We could be with the rest of the Blackwolds at camp. Yes, we could. Is that all you're going to say? All right. Oh, let's remember where these folks are, because we're probably going to have to fight our way all the way back out past all of these. Be nice if some of them were exploding barrels, wouldn't it? What have you got to say, ruffian? At least they give you some leather leggings to wear. Maybe she's just dressed. Maybe she's like the Hooters girl. Maybe she's just dressed like that to help uh, encourage, help to encourage new recruits to come on in and and join up with the group. When do we get to pillage again? That's what I want to know. Door back that way, door over this way, more ruffians. Hey, get out of here. Only people with the permission can come in here. Unless Skunkwood is given his blessing, you can't go in here. Go speak to William Skunkwood at the other end of the cave, then I'll let you in. Mm, right. Oh, is she female? Yeah, she, fe uh, she smokes a lot, that's the thing. <coughs> Sorry. Got a bit of a growl. Another ruffian. That, mm, I'm sorry. I feel so sorry for you and the other lady over here that are background characters without any speaking roles. I know y'all don't get paid as much that way. I wish new people would stop telling me what to do. Care to sit for a bit? We need a third. Okay. Nice knowing not all the Blackwolds are scumsucker, murderous, uncouth deviants. Got a couple of mus musicians here. They're scumsucker, murderous, very couth deviants. Okay, so we've covered all that part. Looks like, yeah, because there's the gate we couldn't get through. So let's head on through the door. And down the path. Seems like perfectly acceptable with the, the water right up there in the waterfall. Incredible waste of time, if you ask me. Well, no one did, but thank you for sharing your opinion. Y'all have nothing to... Oh, the boss is watching. Yeah, y'all aren't going to say a word, are you? I totally understand, man. Totally understand. We'll catch you in the break room about lunchtime when we can have a talk. You count toward defeating brigands, too. Very nice. This is intolerable. Instance, the hideout. Ah, see, you're the one I've heard so much about from Ellie. We lost a good lot of good men in Archer, and I'll be glad to have you in the fold. 
You say you've heard about that ranger? I have to tell you, what is happening to that fellow is plain unnatural. Irgin tells me he's be a great boon to us, but for now he's just a raving madman. I don't mind letting you go take a peek in on him. He's down in the dungeon at the far end of the cavern. My guard there will let you pass. Trusting lot, aren't they? Very trusting lot. Amazing. William Skunk Woods, only a level 8, huh? Okay. And this is actually a orange level? I guess because there are so many that you have to finish killing off. Another incredible waste of time. Y'all ask for a third if I went that way? Probably so. Let's zoom out just a little bit just to make sure that y'all don't say anything. <coughs> apples, apples, apples. I need some meat. You say anything this time. Nope, you still don't have a line. Skunkwood says it's all right to pass. I'll be careful though. That Amdir is a dangerous one. can't quite remember what happens here. Is there like a Nazgul or... The eye. The eye. Ooh, uh, quite a bit of dread coming off of you. Even scaring the rats. What was Skunkwood thinking bringing him in here? Make it stop! Make it stop! Hey, this right here is a perfect example of y'all notice Sarah Oakheart back there. And we've seen Sarah Oakheart, if you go and watch Narlo's adventures on the regular Lotro series. We've seen Sarah and we know a lot of the history of Sarah. But you meet her, where do you meet Sarah Oakheart? In the Elf and Dwarf line, you meet Sarah about this part of the prologue. It's when you go into the... <clears throat> Excuse me. The Dwarf Orchards, the one that starts with a G. Um, mm. It's in the Arid Luin. It's the Dwarf Fortress that starts with a G. About halfway between Thorin's Gate and like the Hunter's Lodge. I cannot remember the name of it, but you remember if you head to the north of it? There's that pass, that barricaded pass that has all the all the goblins inside of it. And you go up there, that's where they're holding, that's where the goblins are holding the elf prints. The elf prints uh, to make it look like the dwarves stole them. And you go in there to rescue him and during the battle you also rescue the lady uh, Sarah Oakhart who's also being held by the also being held by the goblins up there. And that's where you see first see her where she first makes her appearance in the Goblin and Elf story. But here's where she first makes her appearance in the Man and Hobbit uh, part of this tale. So, remember Sarah back there. We'll have a long... Who? Who are you? Who? The voice, make it stop! We're gonna have a long... Acquaintance with Miss Sarah back there. Hamdir counts as a brigand slayer too? The voice, it will not stop. The wound, it is so cold. The voice, the voice speaks to me, commands me, tells me things, tells me about the end of all things, the beginning of new things. It calls me, calls me to service. I must do what it says, must follow. I serve. I must serve the Dark Lord. Speak with the old prisoner. No. 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 Whoa. Escape. I must. Okay. Well, we released him. That was, uh, what they wanted us to do. I just don't think quite that way. Come here, quickly. Your coming is a boon, young one. Oh, thank you for coming to save me, young one. I have been held captive here for a long time. I have seen many things, and if you would be so kind as to help me out of this dungeon, I will be able to tell you a bit of what happened to your friend Amdir. Help Sarah Oakhart out of the cave. <laughs> oh. 
It will be good to see the sky again. Let us get going, shall we? Sure, I want to see what's back. Oh, nothing. That's a weird place to just have a thing. Oh, uh, what happened? This is your fault. Do you think the Black Wolves can... F you think you can fool the Black Wolves and live? No, but I think I can definitely kill the Black Wolves and live. That's not going to be a problem whatsoever. No, Sarah's just crying back there. I wondered what the hell that was. Oh, you're down to half health. Ooh, so you got we gotta take a bit of a bit of care with you, huh? Are you gonna release any story while we're going along? Keep an eye on our little thing down there. Let's get close. I guess maybe she tells you the Amdir story at the end. I'm gonna keep an eye on the chat box over there just to be sure. Or are you gonna raise up? Let's see, are you gonna raise up after all that? Yeah, so. Oh, well. I hate. I hate escort missions, but. At least she's not running ahead of you at full tilt. Running ahead of you full blast, aggroing everything. She's dragging along behind you. As slowly as possible. Strange that that one doesn't get back up. Or are you going to pop up as soon as all three of these pop up? Ugh! Stop them! Who released the prisoners? Yep, there you go. Now you're up on your feet, aren't you? You didn't even cry that time. You gonna turn right or are you gonna head on over toward uh, Skunkwoods area? I think I remember you, yeah. They took something very important from me, friend. My stick. I need to go get it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna have to go and get her stick. I think Skunkwold's got that. This does not look good. Hey, hey, hey. No old shaming here, okay? Just because she's in decided to embrace embrace her age in, in gracefully age. Oh yeah, we're gonna go up that way and let's see if it's up here. Nope, they don't have it there. Still, better than running forward and killing every single thing. Or aggroing every single thing before I can get to them. Come along. Hey, we've hit level 12, too. I've forgotten that. That means that we can go and do another bingo quest. Uh, we'll be looking forward to that also. Go and do another bingo. Oh, boffin. Oh, these are musicians. These guys have, have rhythm in their heart. Let's not kill them. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. This old lady says y'all have to go. There's the chest they put it in. Look, play possum. Play possum. Just lay there. Don't do anything. Pretend, pretend you're dead. I won't tell her otherwise, okay? That's right. My stick. I would be lost without it. No, 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 stay down. Stay down, Drago lives. It's okay. You can pretend you're dead. Uh, Malfoy is still alive. Ah, uh, well. I guess I gotta take you out now. 
You didn't leave me a choice. What happened? What happened was you couldn't pretend to be dead like a good little bandit. Okay, back out. Well, maybe we don't have to go fight Skunkwood. Unless he just, unless she decides she wants to go out that way. I don't remember there being a back door to the cave that way. Whoa! Nope. Now, yeah, well, yeah, we're gonna have to fight Skunkwood, but not quite the way I thought we were gonna have to fight Skunkwood. All right, let's get ready with a trap here. Gonna come right up here. How long do these traps last? I'm not sure, but let's go ahead. Traitor, you freed the prisoners. Kill them! There we go. i hold at least one of you. Let's take out the also ran. But otherwise, he's just gonna be a pain in my side continuously. There you go. Take out take out the ones that do nothing except for add damage to you. And then let's take this guy out. There. Good, good, good. I'm glad I thought of that. See, I'm slowly learning how to fight like a ranger. Slowly learning. I think maybe when I played on my burglar, I tried to sneak through this cave, didn't I? I think I did. I think I snuck through this cave maybe until I got to the jailer over there and talked to them. But sneaking didn't help for very long because thank you, Sarah. We still had to go every single thing. We've still got people to kill up here too. Run! Run! Everybody down that way, run! Crazy old woman who's going to want, want me to kill every single one of you is coming. Run! You're not even telling me the tale of Amdir. You could be doing all that talking along the way. Whoa. I th oh, okay. That's a skeleton. I thought he killed a rat. Like, wow. He took out all the... Took out all the bandits and he killed all the rats. He was a busy little boy. Run. Run. Crazy woman's coming. Hello. There's no, th no point in throwing Amdir says. The eye... The eye in the dark. Oh, there he is, way up there. Say, no point mark. Don't say no point in throwing a no point in throwing a trap down for you, but what happened? You died. Whoa! What now? You run. Ah, uh, goodness! It sounds like there's trouble ahead. You have safely escorted Sarah Oakhart. By the Valar, it is too late. All of you, stay back. It is too late for him. I'm sorry, my friend, but I must end this. End this? Kill me? Is this the compassion of the Dunedain? The voice, the voice told the truth. I shall end you, Toradan, my brother. Ah! And every other ranger as well. The Morgul play, the voice, the eye. You don't say anything, Sarah. You said you were going to talk. Uh, poor Toradan. It is too late for me. Toradan coughs up some blood. <coughs> Amdir is beyond saving now. You must warn my kindred. Mundol is in the mustering cave of the rangers. He... Help him. Go to Underhill. Ask him if... If Tangle Brush delivered... My message. Uh. Oh dear, how terrible. Goodness me, what a terrible sight for these old eyes. The blade that stung Amdir has done its work, and I fear he's nothing more than a servant to the enemy now. You should try and stop him if you can. And don't worry about me. Now that I'm free of that awful sail, I'll be fine. And I've got my stick back. Don't know what I've done without it. You have done me a great service this day. Completed. Instance the hideout. You have entered the Blackwold's hideout. I knew I'd entered the Blackwold's hideout. 
Talk to Constable Underhill. Well, in the old days, that's where we'd rush back right quick and try and... Try and loot some of the bodies we haven't looted, but... Of course, now we've got the loot bag over here, and we automatically suck everything up from even further away than we do in Doom. All right, folks, I'm going to make my way back up the hill here, back over to Constable Underhill, and go and talk to him about what just happened. And I will see y'all when we get back over to the comb and waddle. So we'll see you in just a moment. Coming back into town now. I believe Underhill is at the top of the steps here, isn't he? I think he is. So let's come on in and talk to him. We should be... Comb and Waddle. Yeah, let's see where we go from here. It's going to be very close now. Hello close there. to the inn. Toradan, slain by Am, dear. How is that possible? Seek out to Constable Tangle Rush immediately. If Toradan's warning does not reach his kin, who is to know what devilry will ensue? Quickly now! Alright, which one are we going to want? The watchman shirt? Nope. The guardsman shirt? Yeah, we'll take the guardsman shirt. Because we can't use the patrolmans, can't use heavy, right? Yep. Let's go ahead and finish up. I speak with you a moment? Prologue. Chasing Amdir. Level 14. Okay. Poor Tordan. If his words are true, his kinsmen are in great danger. This mundle he speaks of before he pass must be warned. Now, I don't know exactly where Mustering Cave is, but if Tordan warned Constable Tangle Rush, then Tangle Rush must know its location. Tangle Rush is a constable in Staddle, down the road south of Coombe. You will likely find her loitering about town center. Quickly, you must find her. So talk to Constable Tangle Rush. Okay, so that is where we are going to leave off, right there. All right, folks. Plenty to do, plenty to do. Yep, we are heading on to Staddle now. So we've got the Friendships Renewed that we have to head that way as well. Uh, prologue is yellow. I, probably just yellow only because we got to go talk to Constable Tangle Rush. Remember in the past, as I've said, all these things, all the travel ones are always over con. And probably just to give you that encouragement to get off your butt and move over there. Oh, that one's an orange. Why don't we do that and get a big chunk of experience by moving to the next zone? So we'll see. That seems to be what's going to go on here. So I thank you very much for coming along with us today. And so does Nomadan. And so does the constable. Y'all have a good day. We will see y'all after the patch. And thank you for coming. Bye-bye.